two years. Two years was all it took for a man to completely break me. I was 19 when I met him, and I fell in what I thought was love almost instantly. We moved in together on a whim, and at first it was heavenly. But then I started to realize just how ever so clever he truly was. All the lies, the cheating, the vile, I was naive and ignored it all. I ignored my gut because there was something more important happening. I found out I was pregnant, and he was enthralled. I thought our problems were solved and this baby could fix it all, but I was wrong. So very, very wrong. It was never ending, and the other women never stopped appearing. When I finally saw the error in my ways and obviously his, I got the courage to leave. I was left with nothing, but at least it was over and I could move on. Fast forward five years, and I was still so, so broken. From the loss of our baby and all the psychological abuse, I was distrusting of everyone and no one could break down the wall of leeriness and hatred that man had forced me to build. My social anxiety was debilitating, and my distrust was destructive. Music and art used to be my greatest escape, my passion, but even that couldn't repair what he had shattered inside me. I even married a man. We bought a house, made plans, but we were both still suffering from our past, and it ended faster than it began. I was once again left with nothing. I was left with nothing but a TV and a PlayStation that man had bought but didn't take in the divorce. I had nothing to do in my free time, so I started playing and eventually began live streaming. It was like a whole new me, or maybe the old me was emerging. I could be anything or anyone, do anything and everything in this new online world. Video games became my escape, and eventually streaming became an outlet. I could be social without being fretful. I could be myself without allowing others to get too close. Slowly, I began chipping away at my indestructible wall of horrors. It's been 10 months since I started this journey of healing and I've come so far in such a short amount of time. Because of video games. When I'm playing or streaming, I feel free enough to be myself and to speak what's on my mind. I've started stepping outside of my comfort zone, leaving my house, and I've even started dating again. I have friends that I trust, and I'm finally open with my family. I even made a career change because I realized that I wanted to design video games. I was so inspired by everything I was playing and constantly commenting on flaws in game mechanics, theories, and designs that I realized I wanted to create my own storylines and concepts for others to enjoy. Therapy and counseling couldn't do in five years what video games did in just ten months.